So, um, I suppose the basics of it, I'm making sure that I'm pinching down on this leg. I want to be controlling in the far armpit to begin with. We've got lots of different things we can do with the gi, but we've got to take this out. If we're not controlling there, then it's just such a short slide to, to being, I guess, manipulated. We've got to control him. It's a really good idea to control this other arm too. If I'm just sitting here like this, he can do all sorts of shenanigans. He can start looking at arm drag, establish grips, loop chokes, whatever. Like, it's not fun. The more we can control him and pin. Now, where the strength from this comes is directly through this outrigger here, and I can push into it. If I'm back here, I don't really have the same pressure. If I'm all the way up here, it's different. I want to be on that direct line. I've got the stiff arm there. Now, when he opens up, obviously, there's all sorts of different reactions that we can do for it, but we're just going to do a specific flow. So what I want to do is I'm going to go, once I've got this controlled and I'm in, I need to make sure I'm pinching this. So if I've got my arms open like this and he's free to move his bottom leg, exactly. So I don't like doing active toes because I've got these freaking nothing on there. So I kind of do a half and half that allows me to pinch it. Or if you're getting low, you can go flat foot. But really in this position, you do want to have active toes and then you've got your really good pressure. So I'm going to go down to the hip on the inside here and flatten him out. As I flatten, I'm going to bring my elbow to the inside. I'm then going to C cut behind his leg and I'm going to plank here. Nice and pressured. I'm forcing his legs open here and I'm pinning him. Now generally there'll be two reactions. The one that we're looking for is he's going to try and turn into me and reach. As he tries to reach, a lot of his back comes off the ground and it enables me to spin him on the spot. The second one that normally happens, just for the sake of argument, is a step over with the leg. Straight through. So, we're going to be in Z guard, in the Z stuff. Pin to the hip, elbow, plank. I wait for the reaction, I drive in, I'm going straight to my knee right. And then dropping down to judo side control. Pablo is going to be on his side, C cupping my bicep, and he's got his knee on the back wall. So, right, right knee, left foot. That's it. Beautiful. So he's ready to go. Now, Pablo's got, we did the reverse Heisman last night where he brings his knees up and then he kicks out and then he shrimps away. So what he's going to do with this one is he's going to do the shrimp. We do the Heisman on the next one. The shrimp here is I can't get past his cross face. So what are my options? I try to attack this arm, but his elbows to the mat. It's just it's just, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch into regular side control. This gives him an opportunity to join his knee to his elbow and shrimp out. Generally, you'll get half guard. If you're really good, you'll get full guard, but I'm gonna get your foot stuck, so then we can go through the motion of that. As I switch in, he does a little shrimp out, gets his bottom knee in, and he turns flat, and he's got his foot trapped. Now, people try to pull their leg out, but it's too much, so he turns onto his hip and swings it out sideways. So if he brings it back, he's, right now he's just hip escape, so he's on this hip here. He's gonna plant his foot to the mat, and then he's gonna turn onto his left hip and swing it outside. Beautiful. I'm gonna posture. And then he's going to over exaggerate a Mexican wave. So you're going to start with one side and just do a sit up sweep. As he does his sit up sweep, we're over. I need to beat his foot straight away with my leg at worst case. And what we're going to do is we're going to step over with our outside leg, hook it with our inside leg. So if we could, this would be much better because then we can, we've got a bunch of different escapes. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to reverse Alcatraz. A little clinch here on his leg. I'm squeezing my toes, and I've got your leg here, trying to move it. I've got connection to it, it's gonna, it's gonna be hard for you to advance, and then I can start trying to get my escape. So that's where we're gonna go with that progression. C1, go through it again. Z stop, on the hip, planking M1. As he tries to turn in, we're going straight in the judo side. We're dropping down to try to gather up that arm and go through. He's on his side ready to go. I can't get past the stiff arms here. He wants to be real careful with how much he lifts that elbow off the ground. Because some people will step over and start trying to belly down the arm bar on top of the arm there. So you've got to be really careful. The reason why he's doing these arms is because he wants me to, to stop cross facing and driving him flat to the mat. So, his frame. I'm going to switch in. He does a shrimp, so a little joins his knee to his elbow. Hip escape, foot to the mat, turns onto his hip. I want to make sure my hands are off the mat here. Doing this is really bad, especially in this guy's guard. Head sideways, all the way to full. Your Mexican waves, hip bumps. 
and you're on your trapped up reverse alcatraz. Normal, stepping over, hook, here. Cool. Partner up.